This was brought to you by Tuts, Tips, Tricks, Reviews, Unboxed. On YouTube, and Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook. Hello everybody, today I am going to be going over <laughs> some of my old videos for the filing system, I'll also be editing videos that I have from uh, when I was working for the, uh, doing, doing uh, my work, my project for VR chat. This is what I want to do first. Wanting to go in, and I'm starting to do filing system different way on the audio and video. And what I'm wanting to do is be a little bit more precise. So I come in here and I create a, I'm going to create a new uh, uh, folder in my raw videos for Blender. Those are just my blend files. I don't want to name this one Blender. I'm going to make another one. For, and I'm going to make another one for Unity. Because I'm wanting to keep my Unity, my Blender, also my Inkscape videos separate. And it's like right here I have uh, five videos that are for Blender and I'm going to be making this one because I'll be working with Unity mostly. I've already did the work on the landscape of Blender and now I'm going to be um, flying it. In the videos that I'm editing, I'm applying it to Unity, so it's kind of complicated. But I'm going to go through the process of editing videos, bringing them out, making them out, and a blender file. I'm working with audio and video, but it's going to be for uh, Blender. This one, because you'll see how I do the process with my Blender. But the video that I'm editing <clears throat> is actually my Unity file, so that'll go in here after I'm done. And for me, it's just a good way of organizing. I also have long unfinished videos right here that I'll be doing the same thing to. And then right here on uh, Facebook, YouTube, I have those separate so that I can uh, keep the music in the background separate and keep the channel so that I don't get any problems with the copyright and stuff like that. But that's basically how I do it. I have uh, stuff in here that I just take because before I do this, or before I put those in there, Out of here. So 
collected all three of those. I think we <coughs> them out and make them even more um, exports. Now, in my new video, I went there and delete that file because they're already in the history from Facebook. So now I have my file system set up with little communication for videos. Take these I don't even have to cut those and take them to put them straight into the window. This is my backup drive for the videos I have in the room. That is the time to be able to do that. I'll be able to make it in the room. Here, I just wanted to show you guys this. This is uh, everything I've met on Google Drive. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the idea of the video in the zip file. But but that's I mean, that's an opportunity there too for still enough videos. To me, I've been finding that it's important to have uh, videos backed up as much as possible because there's no guarantee on how long it will be up on Facebook or YouTube or anything else. So I put up on YouTube, Facebook, some of them go on Twitter. And then some of them go on Google Drive. But that's basically the deal with that. Here in a minute, I will go into editing my YouTube my video and uh, get it set up with the uh, There's something else I just realized. I haven't gone in and checked it out for a while. They still have a place recorded in the past recording. Hopefully, you can see the work. I'll get a call to it when I set it up for that one. Yes, and try it again because sometimes it's something you need to check it out. Stop the video and come back. Okay, <clears throat> I shut down OBS and I restarted it. Get that one to see if it actually pauses. I have now is for this one. I am going for the text steps, which is possible here to all videos. Blender one that I just mentioned earlier. But this is where I'm going to put my videos that I'm editing right now. Besides that, I also have the Blender file. Everything blended, and I have a video editor separate from 
different landscape simulations and uh, I did that for a reason because I have my green fire file set up for um, wall videos and then finished videos. I used to have one of my unfinished ones but then I went ahead and uh, cut out one of the processes started doing it so I can actually change that. So we can get on here and build dogs up hard to release. They're letting them out so let them out. Before too, uh, I found out that you could act, you can actually uh, run more than one uh, file at a time when you're doing your work. So, because uh, for the longest time I was just doing one video at a time, and I found out that I didn't have to do it that way, that I could actually. Uh, I just recently upgraded to one point uh eight point three or something like that. So this is all in one point. So this now we're coming here. I'm going to put this to Unity. some settings since the last time I because I found out if your ways of making longer videos and one of the ways that I did it is I stuck to my frames per second for some reason did these again but I actually keep it at twelve with custom and then um, down here and I make my video so that, that works location my file format is MK RTP my info card is not supposed to do that well actually <clears throat> they told me web and is what container needs to be with this version and I couldn't do it with any just regular one from the game. So I'm doing it now. Let's see how that works out. And usually online uh, video encoders for H264 that's compatible with OBS. Whenever I had low bit rate, um, I learned about uh, Keeping it down to like 12 uh, frames per second and uh, the, the quality down to low quality real time. And that will help you where you can have longer videos. Here recently I've been doing cell shading and I also learned that on your render it doesn't have to be like on 50, drop it down to 16. And then on your you can drop that down to eight. You can do that both on EV and on sideways. It actually it's, it's slow. It doesn't slow down or it stops to slow down. So for me personally, I enjoy the video making the videos and everything, but I'm not gonna sit around for a day and a half for or two, three days for just a video being edited. Now that it sounds bad, but it's really not that on the TV. 
go to 60. This is but yeah, it was perfectly fine with the settings. You can see I had a low, I had a bad upload speed for a long time. I just recently got taken care of and I had to learn how to uh, stream and how to do videos of bit rates. I just incorporated that with what I do here. Those are the settings that I have. Um, one thing that I did find to here recently is uh, down here, grab these two. Those are the basic settings that I save it as same thing with the tools, the audio and the video thing. Save those settings for sale. So that's what I got there. Um, first and that's going to be my introduction. So, I'm going to go to this. I'm going to go to I don't know why I put that in. The reason I do it back in the video is so I want to do one for uh, Facebook. Uh, this here. Actually, I want to do this. So what I do is I come in here and go to all the um, I see, I just upgraded and it's 64, I used to move to 32, and it seems to be better with the 64.
so this is where Wondering if everything got reset. Now and redo this and uh, organize what we're going to get it all set up. Why is the transition still? 
come back in and see if it works. If not, I'll have to go and find out. Stop this video here and I will come to the next one. Okay, so I'm going to try this again. This hasn't been taken off. Alright, um, now I'm going to go back in and see if the transition is If it isn't, it means you know, get on YouTube, but it says forward, and you end up trying to forward or through, and it shows that it's actually the transition. I don't think I am sure what to do. I think it's automatic here. Um, I'm going to Got a fix switch, but I don't have a switch.
inside of the first right here. So I select this, this one, give our chat, and then the other chat. Movie, not the audio. And here I hit add, put in the transition, and then I do white. And you'll see this little white transition right there. I usually put it at I'm 
to go back over that and look at it a couple of twice. It's over the Do this again. Okay. That did decide this. I want to change that and back to here. And change the angle to zero, I guess. Overdraw, so that's what I'm going to stick with it. And down here, I'm going to angle it. might be able to find something from that audio, but I doubt it. My mic is just really, really bad. Stop on here, too. It didn't work. This is transition. Now, this could also have issues because I'm using my OBS my browser open and my files with Blender. I don't. Very strong. I mentioned it in the video I'm editing for Unity. But my computer 
got it damaged pretty bad. Two times actually from power surges that we have in the house. Um, so that could be an issue too. Um, plus, I don't have the DP where I only run off the CPU. I had a low bit rate upload speeds for a while, but it, it was taken care of. I was getting below 1 kilobyte per second. Now I'm getting about 3 because 3 to Six millibytes, and that, that's a lot better for CAD. So, um, other than that, though, the damage done to the computer plus the fact that I have all those things turned on right now might be problems. I'm uh, at least I got to, was able to show you guys what I've been learning with the transitions. There's different ones that you can do. And you'll need to adjust them and put them on there because you can tell that they're not great with that short amount of time on there. But I can adjust that and make it look the way I want. And uh, I'm also going to set up a stink wheel on the path that kind of concept. But right now, for my working with a lot of video, I'm just going to do the regular transitions. And I will make a video. But this is my first video showing you guys about transmissions and also my upgrade to uh, our phone one point eight um I was worried about my blend file was getting this upgrade. Luckily, it did happen. So, my blend files so far from what I see, they actually do still really good. Cool. We'll find out how well it does on its own video. But I'm actually using the blend file from. I always make sure that I learn that. This is the new one. Run through and tell you. Mm -hmm. 1.83, I believe. It's the new one. Remember you have to go through it. Why don't ever say that this is the new one. Mm -hmm. Target location is Blender 2.8. So, so okay, now I'm going to uh, go and test this out and see if this performs better without OBS on. 
Facebook or my browser. Because it's, it's, it's a lot slower than my browser for the regular people and, and the reason for that is because I was able to, or I had the option to have 32 bit or 64 bit. I know that it was slow in 64 bit. But it could have been settings, and when I used the 64 bit, I just started, so I didn't really have any knowledge of all this stuff. And uh, now I've actually learned a couple of things on here, so you can see. Okay, so let me get off here. Okay, I'm. Okay, I'm debating on if I should be even recording this because I need to go into settings and uh, check some stuff out. Um, my uh, audio is really, really choppy, and I have no idea why other than this being the issue. So I'm going here and I'm going to check this out because it's a big issue. If you ever need to get into advanced audio properties, that's how you do it. But I'm not going into the advanced audio properties. I'm going into the filters. I've set filters up for each thing that I've got here. And uh, with each one of them, I've already done a video on it, but I've uh, set up a, a, a ducking source. And when I did that, I did it for everything that has to have audio. So it's all in. And uh, on mine, for example, I need to uh, work on getting this set up to where it's actually not so choppy. I'm hoping that we can get this taken care of. But I need to make it smaller where I can see both my uh, desktop audio as well as my microphone area. Oh. I forgot to. Um, on my uh, open volume bar, I also need to mute my uh, mute my uh, <coughs> yeah. Gotta mute my uh, microphone so that yeah, I don't get so much of uh, uh, echo feedback. Moment. This is supposed to work. It's just I can't hear it on the microphone now. And that's basically the deal it there. But there's more of an issue here. Uh, my noise suppression too. I usually have this, but I don't. <clears throat> I have I have an issue with noises outside the my room and stuff, so I try to keep it down, and uh, it causes issues. I put it up to 35, and it just does not do good. Giving black. And I've got to adjust it to where it's within the yellow range down there under my, or at least close to it. I put it at 16 dBs, and what I'm doing here is I'm adjusting my voice to my microphone, trying to get it to where I can actually hear my voice. If nothing else, I'm just going to have to go raw. I, I don't like that because I have the air conditioner going and the TV in the front room. Everybody's always talking, so. But I'll do it if I have to. Let's see what the default drops it at uh, 30. That's for just the best. Expander, this question. Oh, 
Okay. So then after I do that, test it out. Mic. I don't know. I really don't want to mess around with it. This is <coughs> so I'm going to do this again as I go through my editing. I will hear the changes and what I need to do. Change it again. That's basically how. Because I, I really don't have time to do all that. On my video, I it helped a little bit by not having all the OBS on. But not by much. Uh, 64 bit slows me down a lot on the end. And uh, I was able to get this done. I wanted to get on here and show you guys what it looks like. I might change the, the disk or the amount, the length of the, or the, the ending of the video here. According to this, I just, when I got to the end, what I did is I went to here and I tried to find the ending by using my left and right arrow button to get it as close as I could. And right down at the bottom at the end, just be on the left hand side of your start, on the right hand side of the You'll see the count and it will show you what that is. What I do is find the exact last frame when I go to the it says 3290 right there. So what I do is I take that number and I put it in to the end part right at the, on the, the right side of that where it says start one and end 3299. This makes it a lot easier to come over here and click this and just like this and here rather than go through the whole process and put it in up here. You know, just do it right there and it automatically get put in this area right here. That way you don't have to come up here. You have two things open at the same time. That's the reason why that's there. Um, so my frame rate is at 30 frame rates per second. It should be there. Put that on 12. A little while ago, but that might explain why that needs to be doing that. Find out what this is. So, try to come in here. This was. This is going to be in the
I just upgraded so this is the first time I can make it to the game. To get as precise as I can, I'm going to shrink this down to this size right here. Make sure those two match up. Come up here, add a speed control. settings here, this is important. When I read it three frames per second to 12, it shows that it's been here. And then put the thing down all the way the back. So, before I do that, I'm going to play it. That's going to have to all be redone. Um, up here, the frames per second is the reason why I say uh, make sure that you set all these to where you want them before you do anything because we're going to have to put a video up on, on here. And if it's out of whack, we end up hitting this. Most of the time we do, but like I already put the transitions in. Put one step, one up speed. Put two up on speed throw, and it's all just pretty, pretty much mangled up. So to get rid of that, what I do is I just hit A, select all, right or right click, do delete. And remember to always wait for this little strip to pop up and hit the race strips. And I going to come up here and check that 12 frames uh, per second. We've got this already. My output file, got that already put in there. It's 
one of my long finished videos. PT, effect impact, my coding, I put that on the webcam. Usually, I just leave it on MPEG, but I, I'm gonna try that out. Then, uh, on my video codec, HP6, low quality, real time, keyframe, triples. Now, with my audio, I put an AAC. With 92 bit rate, which that's what I should have included. I come up here, hit it. I usually hit save as double check, make sure that this is good. If I wanted to overwrite that file, I come up here, make sure it's in EV. Audio sequence strings. So that means you have to always adjust the video to the audio. And to do that, you have to go direct to the thing if you get here, but if you don't here and do right at the end of it, you hit D, here it works for instance. Always want to make sure they match. That's 49.80. This one is 49.72. Now, on here. The reason why you have to put a speech to a function is because there is a bar for this to the same. Now the video actually starts right here where you see the, the wider field. So what I do is add a speak.
Keep it just in the dark. I've never done this before here. Both my speed and the transitions. So I might have to do transitions to long. Make sure that the audio and the video is All the way, you can try to get it as close as possible first. Just to make some noise. Quick on the audio, find out what the number is right there. It's 28763. Usually I check to see if the ending of this looks like the That right there looks close.
So it's got to be really good. See if we can get transition to put in with the speech. And transition. Dude. Gross. Yeah, it still gives me some issues, but it did lighten up some. Uh, make sure that you check those settings because this, when you get into this and you go to change those settings up there on top, it'll do it it'll again. It'll do exactly what I did when it was all out of wax, so I had to start over on it. And that's the best I can say about it, you know. When I see. If I can do this again, I'll get back to it and finish. So, I have these on, it seems to slip. by Tuts, Tips, Tricks, Reviews, Unboxed, on YouTube, and Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.